Hello and welcome to Sarah Marshall Tarot. Sorry this um, video was late. I was literally on the phone all day with my um, service provider for my phone because I ran out of data. I pay unlimited, okay? You don't know how many, this is the shit I'm talking about, okay? You don't know how many times I heard them say, okay, when I said I pay for unlimited data. You don't know how many times I got the response that you ran out of data. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm about to, it, I mean, it's just nuts, you know? Like, what don't they get? <laughs> Anyways, get to it, shall we? All right, so let's start with the, um, let's do the black bead. Seashell. Let's see number three again. I know I like this one. Berlin. Berlin. And then we'll do the golden leaf again. Okay. Oh no, not again. Alright. Alright, so um, So this is gonna be for yesterday, sorry. And then I've got the other video for today. Yeah, that'll be today. Um, halfway done. So that'll be up in time. Okay. The funny thing is, the plan that I pay for is called Truly Unlimited. <laughs> like, see what I mean about just like not making sense? This is exactly the shit I'm talking about. Walmart family, so whatever. Um, I just paid a little more and handled it for this month, so it should be good to go. I, I don't know. You know. It's just really fucking nuts, okay? It's really fucking nuts. So, I've got a jumper. The, um, the Prince or Princess of Wands. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull the rest of them. Prince or Princess of Swords. Wow, <laughs> Prince and Princess of Pentacles. You know how, I mean, there's only four of these cards, right? In the whole deck. That's crazy. Did that happen with something else the other day? Pentacles? Okay. Mm. Oh no, not again. Alright, so the Black Bead gets the um, Prince and Princess of Wands. The Shell gets the Prince and Princess of Swords. The Fishy gets Prince and Princess of um, Pentacles. Three gets the Devil. And the Golden leaf this time gets the king of pentacles. Oh my god. That's funny. It looks like uh, I can really see that like uh, it looks like some guy looking at his children, like I don't know, it's just weird. Alright. So let's see. This is interesting. I feel like some of you have come back, haven't you? I'm happy about that. Alright, let's get on. Start over here with um Prince or Princess with the black bead. If you got this, these cards represent um, conditions uh, coming to an end or um, changing, okay? Long-term conditions changing. Um, with this card, it's um, bringing it a crossroads, okay? With your life, career, relationships, etc. okay? And just a lot of stress and difficulty right now. Sound about right? Okay, let's go on. Page or princess with the fish, right? Um, this is the same um, type of meaning um, as far as um, uh, long-term conditions changing or ending, okay? Um, but with this card, it's um, more of a renewed um, renewal in your business and affairs, okay? And also possibly moving into a more prominent position um, in your life or career or affairs, okay? And then we've got the page or princess of pentacles with the seashell. Again, this is... Um, uh, long-term conditions changing or ending, okay? This is, this is like a media card. Um, advertising, promotion, po possibly traveling, okay? Um, like, you're doing a lot of moving around, but it indicates that your heart and your mind is in the pursuit of happiness, okay? That's, you're just in the pursuit of happiness, basically, okay? Sound about right? Uh, three with the devil. All right. So, with the devil card, this, um, is like um, negative cycles, okay? Um, 
just a negative cycle of events, okay? You're going through um, clouded perception and uh, wanting to shake off adversity, right? Okay, then we've got the King of Pentacles with the Golden Leaf, right? Okay, so with the King of Pentacles, this is um, connecting with... Um, this is connecting with people uh, in positions of power, okay, um, or authority, people of influence, all right, um, and possibly being capable of having more than two jobs at one time, okay. This could also indicate your dealings, either you are or, or you're dealing with somebody with a Gemini type temperament, you know. All right, sound about right? Let's get to some details. Okay, so with the um, prince or princess here. This could indicate, um, like, um, short trips, okay, like, uh, moving back and forth, okay, um, possibly moving into a new home. Uh, this, this could also indicate, um, a family member or somebody, um, unexpectedly going somewhere and missing them, okay, and then also possibly, um, a little rendezvous with, like, a lover, okay, um, yeah, and possibly um, spending time with somebody who's going to kind of awaken um, your romantic heart, okay, and inspire, um, like, thoughts of love and marriage for some of you. So uh, this can also indicate for somebody, I feel like for some of you, you're going to have some kind of um, get-together or something where you kind of felt a little bit embarrassed in front of your friends, okay? Um, yeah, I just feel like uh, being uh, embarrassed or self-conscious, okay? Um, and, um, and as far as, like, paperwork and stuff, it's like um, you need to... They need like special attention or if you just completed paperwork of some sort like go over the paperwork again because you might have missed something okay uh, that you could benefit from okay so just if that makes sense somewhere just you know let that be okay again um arrival of a sweetheart or um admirer okay maybe possibly like a lunch or dinner invitation for some of you lucky and overcoming obstacles is another um thing that surrounds this card okay being thankful that you we're given intuitive insight about um, your affairs, okay, and, and them starting to straighten out. Okay, so with this card, it's like, are you going to believe in luck or failure, okay? Good things are going to happen because of your efforts or not, okay? Even though nothing seems to really jibe right now, okay, um, you need to not let that defeat you because um, you are very close to reaching your goals, okay? You are very close to reaching your goals, so don't let defeat defeat you, okay? <laughs> and... Um, you know, which ear are you going to listen to type thing, luck or failure, okay? You can be lucky. All right. And so with the prince or princess of swords. Now, this is a really cool card for um, romance, okay? Because this is like um, being blind, like blindsided, okay? Like you didn't see it coming, all right? And someone's going to just, you know, for some of you, could like totally sweep you off your feet, okay? Um Expect many, um, this is sociable, very sociable card, okay? Um, expect many, um, uh, calls and that sort of thing. This could also indicate, like, um, if you have a sweetheart or lover that's been gone, okay, they could arrive suddenly, like, be at your door and surprise you, okay? So, I shouldn't tell you that. Okay, so, and then when it comes to paperwork with, the, um, something that you plan to do regarding papers, you're not going to do at this time. Um, and this could also indicate for some of you, um, taking legal steps toward, in something, um, like, Paperwork involving legal action. Uh, okay, and then for romance in this card, this is like um, trusting and not trusting, trusting and not trusting, but you're going to continue, okay? Continue moving in the, in the to, you're going to stay together, but you're going to trust and then distrust, okay? Kind of going back and forth. Um, um, if you're not involved, um, you could be surprised, okay, by um, a message from somebody who admires you, okay? Uh, so with this card, um, I feel like, um, like some kind of license or certificate for some of you might be coming, okay? Um, and you will get like, I mean, increase in finances. Um, I also feel like um, emotional discussions, possibly, possibly like with your family. Um, and then I have this, um, I have a feeling of somebody, this could be for everybody, okay? Um, somebody's going to get some news of um, severe illness or death um, for somebody, okay? And um, yeah, that's coming in pretty quickly, right? Um, I don't know who that's for. It could be just for this card. This could be for anybody, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, and then we'll go to the Prince or Princess of Pentacles. Okay, so this also indicates um, short trips, okay? You might go on a short trip or jump with that, like a lover or admirer, okay? Also, um, 
Okay, and then also people running kind of hot and cold in um, in business affairs. Okay, if things have been slow in the past as far as um, you know your business and this and that. Like um, some area of your life is going to pick up quickly. Okay, like um, you're going to get the motion's going to start going. Okay, the wheels are going to start going a little bit faster for you. And um, uh, you know, and then this was also considering you know seriously considering um, a union or marriage. Okay, um, this is a this card indicates to maybe to maybe be a little bit more honest. Okay. Just a little bit more honesty is going to get you a long ways. Okay. For whatever, wherever that fits for you. Okay. Also, I feel like, um, you, somebody might get like a call or some news or something that's gonna, you're going to have to kind of analyze some things. Okay. Analyzation is coming, um, regarding communication from somebody. Okay. And what I, what, what I wanted to say too was, um, the increase of activity. Okay. That I was talking about before. I feel like it's not going to come from the same Avenue that you're pursuing right now. I feel like you're going to kind of move in a different direction. Okay. So I needed to say that, um, like you're, you're getting the, you're getting the go ahead. Okay. You're giving, you're getting like, yes, you can do this, move forward in this direction as far as a career opportunity. Um, being grateful that your desires were realized. That's what this card represents. Okay. It's also, um, telling you to, um, follow your hunches and your gut reactions right now. Do what feels right and don't do what doesn't. Okay. That's really important right now. Birds are going to be rewarded more, going to be rewarded more ways than one. Okay. So just keep doing what you need to do. Keep going, keep moving, you know, just, be cool, right? The devil. Okay, so for those of you that have seen the devil come around a couple times already, um, this is I'm still carrying a flame for an old love. Okay, so I feel like the same person is watching. Okay, so I'm gonna try to give you different information possibly. If you remember, this was like um, maybe being angry with an associate. Not a good time to push for results. Like, don't make any major decisions. Your 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 business is not doing good financially, all that, right? So um, I feel like I need to give you more information and probably more positive, okay? So I'm going to do that. And remember, this card was like indicating somebody being suspended in suspended animation, okay? So um, with that, you're going to be lucky um, in obtaining pertinent information about your situation, okay? So um, just know that that will be coming. And also, this indicates being grateful, for what you learned through this experience, okay? So you're 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 coming out of an experience, okay? Which is good. Now here's something interesting, okay? Because we've all been programmed from birth, from our parents, from society, to learn from our mistakes, right? But here's the interesting thing, is that your is that energy is is constant flow, okay? It's just a constant flow. Now, yes shit happens. Okay. And negative shit happens. Okay. So you're coming out of a negative cycle. And here's the thing. Um, um, this card is telling you to not think about the reason. Okay. Which I know we've been taught to do that. All right. Like, why don't you learn from your mistakes? What's the reason why this went wrong? What's the reason, reason, reason. Okay. But actually when you, when you're doing that, okay. While you're trying to find out the reason it's adding more, um, it's amplifying the condition, amplifying the frustra frustration, okay? It's not doing any good, okay? I know we need to learn from our mistakes or whatever. Here's the thing is um, just be in tune with your higher power, whatever that may be, okay? Just be in tune. Don't look back and find a reason, okay? It's not going to really do any good. Um, it's just going to amplify things and set you back more, okay? It's wasting time, basically. Um, so what you need to do is you need to get in tune with your inside self, your, you know, um, get a little more spiritually in tune with whatever your higher power may be. Okay. And, um, the answers will come that way. Okay. You'll just get the answers when you get in tune with God or whoever your higher power is. Okay. You don't need to go back and get more frustrated looking for the reasons. Okay. So you just need more perspective. Okay. You need more perspective. You don't need to look back and analyze. You just need more perspective. Just open it up a little bit more. Okay. Whoa. All right. King of pentacles. Okay. So with this card, um, it's wanting to be more successful, wanting more money, maybe wanting to unite with somebody. Okay. Also associating with gifted, um, influential people. Okay. This is a, this is a, a time of influence. If you're planning on going to the beach or sea or something like that. I feel like, um, there's some kind of, this could be it for anybody too. Um, I feel like there's some kind of trip coming that's going to be postponed or canceled. Okay. Um, As, as the weather won't permit. Okay. And, um, if, if, so that may apply to somebody, but also, um, if, 
if you do have a trip coming and you do get to go, um, that trip is going to be very successful. Okay. I don't know. That just falls wherever it might. Okay. Um, this is, um, being completely absorbed in paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. Okay. And, um, also being very popular and in demand. Okay. This is like, this is like, I don't know. I just kind of feel like, you know, like when the owner walks into a business and everybody turns their head and gives them attention. I feel like you're this person right now. Okay. Um, expect a very positive message, um, from influ influential people. Um, one in particular is going to really admire the work that you do. Okay. And they're going to tell you that, um, like, um, and if you're hoping to hear from someone, you're going to get your wish. Okay. Like, I don't know if that's a lover or, um, somebody in business. It could be both. Okay. Wherever, whatever you think for that is the right thing. Okay. Um, I also feel like, um, there's an old friend or loved one that you want to unite with, reunite with, or, um, or, okay. For, for some of you, you haven't seen this person in a long time. There's um, a friend or relative. Okay. An old friend or relative, and you're going to reunite with this person. Um, you know, like get together and this and that. And then also for some of you, you're going to um, reconcile with somebody that you've been just not on very good terms with. Okay. Um, I also feel like if you're artistic, if, um, the person who drew this card is artistic, um, and you're trying to, um, use that as, um, a means of like, um, um, like, I, I don't know. I feel like you're going to get like an artistic commission. Okay. If you're big, if you don't just do it, just to put up on your wall type thing, you know, you want to be recognized for your, that's going to happen for you. Okay. I feel like, um, for a lot of you, you've been at a standstill and it's going to be overcome. Okay. And there's going to be a reunion. And then this card is telling you that you're never alone. All you do, need to do is reach out. Okay. Patient and persistent. Okay. Be patient and persistent and diligent. Okay. Um, a guy like this, a person like this can definitely be that. Okay. Patient, diligent, and persistent. That's not easy for a lot of people. Okay. But you can do that. You're, you're going to be completing something and totally closing the door like a whole era. Okay. Um, and you're going to close that door and move in a whole new direction. That's great. Okay. Yay. Okay. So let's go, um, let's do the, okay. So we're going to start with, um, the black bead. All right. I feel like this person might have chose the golden leaf the last reading. Okay, um, because I'm feeling like you want to improve a relationship that's precious to you, okay? And that this person doesn't show that they admire you, but they really do, okay? And this person doesn't show a lot of anything, okay? But they, but deep down they really do. So I feel like, um, you need, you need to just know that. And, um, I also, okay. There's two people, right? There's two people that you love. Okay. And you're going to know which one to choose. Okay. Cause I'm gonna tell you right now, one of them is trying to seduce you. So it's probably the new one. Okay. Trying to seduce you to get um, affection from you. Okay. And, um, this person is only going to break your heart. All right. And so I'm pretty sure you know who that is. Okay. Um, now, the other thing about that is no matter what your choice is going to be, okay, because for whatever reason, most of us choose the wrong choice in this department, right? I'm only trying to help, but, um, just know that I think you might've spent enough time with this other person, this new person to where they've already have feelings. Okay. Like, like no matter what choice you make, someone's going to suffer at this point. Okay. So you need to do it quickly. Okay. Because, um, the, the more you wait, the more, the greater the suffering for the other person. And that's not fair. Okay. So you need to make your choice and you need to do it now. And also you cannot be vague in, um, in your explanation. Okay. Because that only, um, makes the, the, per the other person suffer more, especially if it's the one, um, that is essentially getting cheated on. Okay. Emotionally, whatever. Um, <clears throat> even if you're just talking to somebody else, opening up your feelings and you're not doing it with your partner, that's cheating. Okay. So, um, and then, you know, I'd say probably 90%, I'm, I'm just as a guess. Okay. Um, 90% of people who cheat and, and such, and don't want to, um, and don't want to hurt the other person, um, will make up some random excuse or lie or whatever, but it's okay. People aren't stupid. Okay. And, um, you're only adding insult to injury, um, throwing salt on their wounds when you lie to them. Okay. It's not doing any good because people essentially know the truth. So when people cover shit up, 
okay? And don't tell them exactly why, like say, hey, I'm a coward or say, hey, um, I'm sorry. I, I just, you know, I guess I, whatever, okay? Um, you can admit that you're not a good person or that you're weak or whatever, okay? Um, or you fell in love with somebody else, okay? It's okay to admit those things rather than hide it, all right? Because this person's already going to know. And it's going to be even more damaging to them when you lie to them because then they're going to have to spend more time in grief, more time figuring out what happened, and it's not fair. And you, have, you really need to be careful of karma here, okay? So no matter what choice you choose, and I'm not t saying you're a coward, I'm not saying you're a bad person, but I'm just saying if that's how you feel, there, a lot of people do that, okay? A lot of people are are the dirtbag in this situation, okay? I don't know your situation, but a lot of people are. I mean, look at Chris Watts, okay? He's a dirtbag, all right? Um, that's that's an extreme way to go. And I'm just saying, like, people would rather do that than tell somebody the fucking truth. And it's just wrong, okay? So, and you got to be careful of karma here. So, you know, um, just... And, you know, I'm on the outside. I don't even know who I'm talking to, okay? I'm just a person drawing cards, okay? But I can feel your energy. And I know you're not a bad person. If you're a bad person, you wouldn't be on here looking for answers, okay? You're, you're in a situation. I, I understand that. And I'm going to tell you right now. I've been in that situation, okay, and um, on both sides, okay, and karma is going to bite you in the ass, okay, so you can go ahead and make the wrong decision, and I think, and that's your choice, I mean, maybe there's lessons that you need to learn with making a wrong decision, okay, whether, I mean, maybe there is no wrong decisions in life, okay, but you are at a crossroads, and you do have a decision to make, and I'm going to tell you right now that if you... If you decide to go with this person that I told you um, cares nothing about you, is only going to hurt you in the long run, okay, um, that what's going to happen down that road, okay, is going to be, you're going to be flying full force, all right, like in love, okay, or whatever, okay, you're going to feel as high as a kite, okay, and this is reality, this is earth where there's gravity okay if for every action there's a reaction just as great if not greater okay so it's you've already gone a little bit okay so no matter what now you have to put the brakes on okay so there's already damage already okay so you can keep going down that road okay but what's going to happen is sooner or later um you know you're going to be flying down that road and sooner or later somebody's going to put the brakes on okay and then you're going to crash and everything's going to be scattered everywhere and your life's going to be in pieces. And then you're going to look around and you're going to be like, you're going to realize what you had. Okay. And I guarantee you, it's not going to be the person that you're driving down that road with. Okay. So you can go ahead and make that choice. Okay. And, um, okay. And if you don't, if you decide not to, okay. So what, what's your options now? Okay. What you need to do now, right now is, um, is that, Okay, this is where I get stuck, okay, because it depends on what you've done with this other person, okay? If, if you just have an emotional attachment, emotional affair, emotional affair with the, with, with somebody else, um, some of the times I don't think it's necessary, okay? Just know that you did that, okay, and maybe it drew you closer to this other person, but did, is that does that other person really need to know, okay? In that sense, I don't think so, okay? And as long as you're not a habitual person that, that does it all the time, okay? Um, now, if you have gone, uh, if you've gone to the point of um, f being physical with this other person, then yes, you're going to have to stop now, okay? And um, tell this other person, tell, tell this person you've been with what you've done, okay? Now, in doing that, I suggest you separate yourself, okay? If you live with this person, I suggest you have somewhere else to go, okay, when you do this. Um, especially if you have kids in this and that, because who knows how someone's going to react. I mean, you know, um, <laughs> women are crazy and, and be careful at, at the timing of this. You know what I mean? Like don't go in when, she, when things are already starting to get chaos or if she's starting her period, you know, whatever. Um, you know, just be real, but be, but have your bases covered. Okay. Because if she starts throwing pots and pans at you. You got to get the hell out of there. Right. And, um, don't be a coward and tell her over a text. Don't be a coward and write a fucking letter, okay? Unless unless she is somebody that will kill you, okay? Then whatever, okay? Do it over the phone. Don't write it and give it to her, okay? You can call her on the phone. You need to tell her from your own voice what you've done, okay? 
have somewhere to go, okay? Then anyways, you should have somewhere to go to have a time out, to think about what you want if you don't know what you want to do yet, okay? Um, take a time out, but don't be cheating on somebody and going back to them every night, okay? Here's the other thing is that um, the person that you're cheating on could be on here too, watching, okay? So there there could be people um, on the other side of the fence learning the truth. So let's work through this together, okay? And I just keep coming back so because we're going to move on. Okay, so little fishy. Okay, so the first thing I get with the little fishy is there's a woman connected to you that's leaving. She's leaving for an opportunity that she cannot pass up. Okay, and you're going to miss her very much. I also see, for some of you, a train ride. Like you're going somewhere. But okay, so wherever you're going, you're not going to get there the same day. This could be like some sort of vacation. Um, it's going to be very beneficial to you. Um, you know, you're going to find your, your you're going to, Get get in touch with your soul, okay, and your deepest subconscious, okay. Um, this is going to be a wonderful trip for you. Um, I also feel for some of you um, anxiety over a relationship. I feel like um, every time you have a conversation with this person, it doesn't end the way you want it to, okay. Um, but I also feel like um, if you're thinking of letting go or you don't know what to do, um, the message I'm receiving about that is that you need to just keep loving and you'll be well rewarded, okay. We're going to do the seashell. The first thing I'm seeing is like there's some person coming in, okay, that is very attractive, has nice clothes, and their inside is just dark and dirty, okay? And what they're going to do is try to, whether this has already happened or about to happen, okay, um, they're going to try to get you, they're, they're, they're going to corrupt you and um, confuse your thoughts, okay? Some kind of scam, some deplorable, despicable scam, okay? Um, and if you even, um, if you give this person the time of day, okay, they will quickly tear you down, okay? Um, they will make you lose face. They will bring you into utter shame publicly, okay? So, uh, yeah, stay away from this person. Um, they're very attractive. They, they try to seduce everybody. Okay, they're very seductive. I also feel like you're going to have to move in order to conclude a deal that involves a large sum of money. Okay, um, I feel like in front of you is, a, 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 with this deal in front of you is a woman um, who's um, very ambitious and such, but she's not as smart as you. And you're the one that's going to... Um, Oh, you're the one that's going to get this, um, that's going to be successful in some kind of negotiation. I feel like you are also having a relationship with somebody other than your spouse, okay? Um, or you're in love with somebody that's like an impossible love, like somebody who's in a relationship with somebody else, okay? Um, so yeah, I would just revert back to, you know, the black bead, uh, for any more information on that, um. All right, so now we're going to go to number three. The first thing I'm getting is um, there's some woman, maybe in your neighborhood, okay? Um, I think she has children. She's under some kind of distress, okay? And I think she's going to come to you for comfort. And it's imperative that you try to help her, okay? Um... Okay, and I feel like she has a job. It's not like a financial thing for her. It's something with her past that happened. I don't know. Um, can't get any more. Um, okay, and then... Um, and then for some of you, there's... Um, some kind of project that you're doing, okay, that you need to, it's imperative that you get your paperwork in order, okay, and, um, like the legalities of something, okay, because what you're doing, you might be able to market or something like that, okay, something, something to that sense, and there are people that want to invest in your know-how, 
But here's the thing. You need to keep total control of whatever you're creating. Um, because, like, don't give anybody everything, okay? You need... You need to be in control of what's going on with you and your in your creation, okay? Um, because in business, just like the ocean, okay, there are sharks, okay? And they will take everything from you if you give it to them, okay? So I, I don't know, I just have a warning about that. Like, make sure you protect what is yours, okay? And then I'm also picking up on some person that you regularly talk to, okay? Um, every time you talk to this person, they get more and more fixated on you. Um, they have this unhealthy relationship in their mind of you, with you, okay? And um, they may start acting just kind of crazy, you know, because... Um, they feel rejected by you kind of, um, because they think they have rights to you for some reason. Okay. So you need to, you need to square up this relationship with whoever this is. Okay. Because they're, it's very unhealthy. Like they fantasize about you, like in an unhealthy way, it's like obsession. Okay. Um, so just know that and just try to, um, yeah, just kind of, you need to, um, be more clear, possibly, in your relationship with this person, okay? All right. Now we'll go to the golden leaf, okay? Okay, the first thing I'm getting is um, something about court, perhaps. Yeah, and, okay, this has to do with um, maybe a divorce or separation, um, it could be a death in the family, okay, um, but I, okay, so I feel like, um, there's a woman that, um, is going to help you with this. It's somebody from your past, maybe a good friend or something, and, um, the message here is to whoever's helping you with this thing, okay, um, this court situation, um, I feel like you need to open up to her more and she can help you a lot more, okay? This is somebody that's very, very close to you, like a long-time friend, um, and your connection is so strong that she may even, like, feel your pain type, um, thing, okay? So, yeah, let her help you. I also feel like you're gonna have a conversation with your father or grandfather, okay? They may not, um, be alive per se okay um this could be somebody that's deceased okay but um um this has to do with uh, it's some kind of something that's been kept secret for a long time it has to do with like property or something uh, something of great value okay so you need to have this conversation um whether you have to meditate if they're deceased or whatever but you, you can get the answers that you need okay um, and then the last thing I want to talk about with, um, with you is your relationship with the, with the person that you love. Okay. This could be your wife, girlfriend, your significant other. Okay. Um, this is for those that, um, are in, uh, you know, or maybe contemplating marriage. You might already be married, whatever. Okay. I just feel like, um, there's two different visions of like, the way a relationship should be or something. Um, but whoever's watching this, I feel like is, is way too controlling or like, like you don't, you're not getting what you need from your partner because they're not free to, they're not able to express themselves freely for some reason. So I feel like you need to stop expecting certain ways that people should show you affection or, you know, show you things. Um, because this person has, is just like, okay, I feel like this person's like a rosebud. Okay. And she's still closed because, um, she, because what's the restrictions around her and the expectations around her are not She's not able to open up, okay? So you need to drop those. You need to let go and let her be who she is or he, okay? Let them be who they are so that they can show you 
because they they want to do they want to show you and love you and, and do all these things but they have to do it their way that's the message that i'm getting let them do it their way okay let go let them do it their way give them more freedom um you know that type of thing okay so let's do pendulum so i thought of a cool idea we're going to do the ring light for the um pendulum okay now let's start with the golden leaf so think of your question if you're not ready pause because we're going to get this started okay so think of your question while looking all right let's go That's a yes. All right, let's go to the seashell. Think of your question. We're looking. Let's go. Yes. All right. Let's do uh, number three. Let me see, huh? Okay. Number three. Give your question while looking. Let's go. It's a no. All right. Um, let's go to black bead. Okay. Think of your question while looking. Let's go. That's a yes. All right, fishy. All right, let's go. Another no. Have a good night and I'll see you in the morning.